In this episode of Ultimate Adventure 2022 presented by Rugged Ridge, we'll be getting into some of the nastiest terrain UA has visited in many years. If you're an off-roader and you get goosebumps at the thought of over 73,000 acres of incredible trails, then you've probably heard of Windrock Park in Tennessee. The terrain at Windrock is something to behold. On its best days, it's off-camber, loose and snaking, undulating, strewn with boulders of all sizes, big ledge climbs, tight tree squeezes, and everything in between. On its worst days, when it's raining, you take all that and add to it a nearly complete loss of any grip or traction. In a nutshell, it's some of the best and most challenging wheeling to be had anywhere in the USA. And we're going to be pushing 25 vehicles through not one, but two of its more challenging trails. Well, it's early morning, UA day five. People are just starting to wake up. It was a cold night, it was a windy night, but we're gonna get up, get breakfast made, have a driver's meeting, and then we are gonna hit the trails here at Windrock Park. Most of the UA cronies come from this area, and Chris Durham specifically, I mean, this is his backyard. He knows all these trails. Chris really lent a, a strong hand in helping plan the route this year in this park. I mean, the, the terrain's uh, something to be seen, so we might get a, a glimpse into why Chris has the unique driving style that he does. Little update for Team Onyx. We spent the day yesterday wrenching on the Toyota. The steering rack was trying to pull out of the subframe, so I took it to a local shop, went to Barnes Four Wheel Drive. We. Uh, Basically put everything back where it's supposed to go. I welded everything top and bottom, put it all back together. And now we're ready to maybe limp it through the day, maybe push it through the day, I don't know yet. We need to drive it more so I can figure out how much confidence I should have in the truck. Valve cover filler situation. It ended up being not that big of a deal. We used some epoxy and we epoxy the top back onto the valve cover. It wanted to stay there anyway. We just needed to give it a little encouragement um, and then put the oil filler cap back on and it seems to be just fine. Okay, everybody, welcome to UA Day 5. Woo! All right, UA Day 5 presented by Rugged Ridge starts now. Uh, I want to welcome back two sponsors who had to bail to uh, make repairs. That's the spirit of UA, never say die, just go off and get your stuff done and come on back and keep having fun. So Tom and Josh Allen made it back here about midnight after rebuilding the rear axle. And I... Uh, I don't have a lot of yapping to do. We're in for a really cool day on the trail. This place is awesome. I'm gonna let Trent fill you in on all the nuts and bolts. All right. Well, before we get into that, um, we have three special guests here that are gonna be joining us uh, on the trail today. Travis is a two-time UA alum. And then uh, we've got Cole Connor. Cole has been on several of these as well. And then the main guy, that, that old man over there, Fred Perry. Yeah. yeah. For those of you that don't know, Fred uh, has probably been on 12 to 14 Ultimate Adventures, something, something like that. He's been around. He's a long, long, long time. You air was with us in the very early days or whatever, and we're we're great to have him. He's going to be joining us on the trail today along with Cole. All right. Let's get those coolers emptied out. And uh, we'll be leaving here, hopefully as close to 8.30 as possible. All right, we're here at Windrock now. Trail 39 goes up to Cadillac Hill, also the rail trail. We're gonna pace it and see where we're at when we get to Cadillac Hill and probably go on through rail trails so we get more than one trail throughout the day. It's gonna be an option. We'll see how it is when we get there. A lot of big rocks, a lot of ledges, a lot of winching on big ledges. There's water, there's uh, mud holes, there's pretty much everything you can think of on this trail. So, it's gonna be interesting. My uh, battery tie down is, is loose, so I need to get some tools out. Like, do you need a mad stack of zip ties? The like battery jumped past the little plastic dingus. 
Yesterday, when we stopped on the, along the highway, this terminal was off. It wouldn't start. And that thing was like, it had like, you know how it wedges down in the corner? It had like jumped above it. So I was like, what? I actually thought someone had, was messing with it. Like I thought someone had come and like right. taken it off. Yeah. But, I don't know. Feels safe now. I gave it three good hits, and then I decided that I would just hook up the winch real quick. We're gonna hook it up to the back of Bailey's Jeep, and just get over this little nub that's holding us up. This is a gatekeeper. This gets a lot worse up here, so we're struggling here. This is gonna be a really long day. You can't see much, so you kind of have to rely on your spotters. I usually try and only listen to spotters that I really trust, and that would be some of the cronies on this trip. And uh, Chris Durham was up at the top, and he's the right person to have you spot through this trail. So this is the blame me picture. That's <laughs> <laughs> thing. I have to go back to zero now. Yeah. Look, it's fixed. It's fixed. It's just that easy. Just don't look at it. <laughs> My fault. I'm just over here eating and enjoying, you know. Would you like one at home? <laughs> oh, nom nom. <laughs> Chappelle and I'm one of the cronies on Ultimate Adventure. We're kind of the, the group of guys that sort of help keep the thing rolling. This year I brought a new build. It's a 1994 Jeep Wrangler YJ. Square headlight, funky little Jeep. We built it on dirt every day and it was sort of a quick build. It was like a four day build. We did an axle swap on it. It's got a Dana 44 and a Ford 9 inch. It's got a bunch of trick suspension bits on it, a bunch of Skyjacker TJ coils up front, and it's got a, their YJ Leafs out back. But it's just kind of a cool little Jeep. I think I've got the least money in this out of anybody on the trip, which is kind of cool, like trying to hang with the big dogs in a low budget uh, little Jeep. And then I got down on some paint on this one. This was actually the last vehicle that was ever built on Dirt Every Day, and I didn't get a chance to do our like signature stencil job on it. So you'll see like I painted Dirt Every Day on it. Even though the show is no longer, I figured I wanted to do a tribute to the show and possibly have something to hang up on my wall when I get back to the shop if, uh, if this thing's still intact. So. I don't know, wish me luck. I'm gonna be out there smashing trails on this thing and hopefully it's still working next week. Hey, there's 
there's a hard line right there on the right. You should hit that. So I was like, yeah, we'll hit that. That's the first time I put her in double low all week. And, uh, you know, just, just got down to business. Well, I was rolling, I was moving, I was shucking and jiving, and then this Toyota passed me on the right. Everybody knows you're supposed to pass on the left, but, you know, Toyota guys, sometimes they, they don't know the rules of the road. And he drove right up the super gnarly exit ramp over there, the boat launcher, the uh, rocket chucker. I don't know what it, that trail, that obstacle was called, but... And then I was over here and I slowed down, and then I lost all my... Mojo and all my vibe. And, you know, I was like, I guess I'll just yeah. finish. <laughs> because this trail is brought to you by Warren Winches, the best winches in the world. Thanks, Warren. Um, I drove into a big hole without my front locker on and then, you know, picked up some orange dirt, adjusted my mirror. Some days are just not your day. Yeah, Woo. right on, Nate. Very yeah, good spot, Bobby. Great spot. What are we going to do on this one? It's about that much shallower last time I was here. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, so they've had a little rain. A little rain, a little rain. Yeah. A little tire spinach. Yeah. I Made a little deeper hole. I'm thinking we'd just go ahead and put a strap on that tree up there. Yeah, definitely. Because we're going to need it. Going to need it. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Well, that's what Ultimate Adventure is about. multi-pitch winching going on we're hooked to the tree hooked to the front of the van we're hooked to the Jeep and this van as well so we're gonna actually try to pivot by putting load on the front and back same time pivot in a better position then hopefully winch it up from there smoked the tires. Everyone was going to their left, falling into a hole. Once I got on the right side, I just sat there and heated them and went right up. Eh, 7200 rev limiter hit a couple times, but other than that, we got right up it. Well, 
I think the bolt in the clamp for the steering ram assist rod backed out and got so far out that it wallowed out the hole and I didn't notice it, but it tore it out, it boogered up the threads in here and on the bolt. So we're trying to come up with a uh, way to get a bolt back in there so that I can have a steering ram. The uh, bolt appears to have backed out of the steering ram. So before we put a new bolt in and mess the threads up on the new bolt, I cut the end of the old bolt off and made a thread chaser out of it basically. And now the threads are good, so now we can put the new bolt back in it. Tighten up the, back of the lead. this is the easy route but there is nothing easy about this so yeah this is a very technical very cool climb but uh, it is it's legit this whole trail has been pretty darn legit That I normally build out a two inch 250 wall, which fits this really tight. But built these at the last minute out of 188, which doesn't fit tight, so it was a butt weld. And I landed hard directly on the weld and snapped it. You so, already cut and ground it? Yeah. Cut it, cleaned it, ground it. We're just gonna weld it back together. I said I wasn't looking for good, I was looking for durability, so we got it. Got it welded back together, got it reinstalled, all tightened up, and we are good to go for the rest of the week, Hope, hopefully. We park vehicles like this to just inspect the worn hubs and make sure that everything is running strong and good. Perfect eye level, you can just take it apart, put it back on. Okay, we're getting close to the end of day five here at Ultimate Adventure, but we're not there yet. We've been on the Cadillac Hill and 40 trails here at Windrock Park and they are super challenging. We've had a lot of carnage, dented sheet metal, we've had some steering issues, we've had a blown motor mount, we got someone who just snapped the control arm on their suspension getting welded. I mean, you name it, it's been a real, real hardcore day. But that's what UA is all about. I mean, that's why we're all out here. We're banding together, helping each other. We still have a long way to go. We're really spread out on this single track trail. So we're gonna get moving before the sun goes down, get back to camp, because tomorrow's a day we gotta make repairs for. It's been a long day on the trail, but that doesn't mean the adventure is over just yet. Next time on Ultimate Adventure 2022, presented by Rugged Ridge, we're going to tackle one of the best known drives in the country among performance and motorcycle enthusiasts before we wrap things up with one final trail day in yet another state. Of course, this trail is going to be anything but easy, and you're not going to want to miss it. I should be wearing gloves. I'm sorry. <laughs> 